to go in the desert on 7,000 acres of land, um, just hills and mountains and valleys and canyon, um, really nothing, really nothing out there, right? It's like in the middle of nowhere. And he was telling us that he actually bought the land from the previous owner who had it for a hundred years. So think about it. Most of us, we don't even think about buying land, right? Especially not a land that a land that's you know like like there's nothing there. People are not living. There's no electricity. There's no water. Literally, they had to bring everything in. So why would someone like just think about it on that level right there? Why would someone or any one of us even think about buying land, just like raw land, and keep it in our generation for a hundred years? And now the person who sold it to him, right? I don't know what the situation is, but now he's made a vow that he's gonna keep it forever. So when he passes, his kids, 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 that's gonna be forever in their generation. So first, we gotta start thinking generation. It's not enough to just work a job or to just do anything and just have enough for ourselves. Billionaires don't think about just having enough for themselves. He said to us on the last night, I don't, I'm not making money off of you guys. I'm here to strengthen you. I'm here to bless you. I'm here to share my knowledge with you guys so you guys can be the next rich Tali. That was powerful. He's not, he doesn't really care about making money off of us, right? And so um, the Navy SEAL, um, I think I think he said he paid maybe like eight thousand dollars for one Navy SEAL, and almost all of them had like over twenty years experience. And the reason why he chose them because Navy SEALs has special mental toughness capacities. They don't think like you and I. And in this business, my topic tonight that I'm going to talk about is on mental toughness, which we all gonna need right? We all going to need. So here's my PowerPoint. Let me make sure you guys can see it, right? Mm, sidebar. Okay. Can you guys see it? Awesome. So senior marketing director. I was not a senior marketing director. I didn't come to WFG to be a senior marketing director. I started like many of you just wanting to learn about finance. That's it. Had a great job, making six figures, putting money in the bank, putting money in my 401k, being upset with Jason, my stockbroker, when I lost money. And I just wanted to know, what does rich people know? What does the wealthy people know? Where are they putting their money to grow? So I started with WFG just to learn to learn these principles, to learn these concepts, to learn about money because I don't want to lose money, right? So just like many of you, I didn't get it. I didn't understand, but I decided, you know what? Worst case scenario, I'm just going to be a student and learn about money. So when I learned this information and I could help myself, then I could help my siblings and I could help my students. But three years, here I am being a beast, senior marketing director, building a big team. So I say that to say, guys, even though a lot of you are brand new and this may not make sense initially, stick it out because you are going to learn things that you will not learn at a college or a university because I am a university professor and my faculty doesn't know it is and my students doesn't know it is. So worst case scenario, this is the best hundred dollars you're ever going to invest in yourself because you are going to learn how money works and you're going to learn more than how money works because our environment fosters growth, right? So let's talk about some of the things that we learn while being with these Navy SEALs. You gotta be prepared, guys, right? If, if there's a war right now, Navy SEALs are ready. They are ready to go to war. They are ready for whatever the circumstance is. So you gotta be prepared to push yourself first. 
You got to push yourself first before you could push others. I cannot tell people go recruit if I'm not recruiting myself. I cannot tell people go open accounts if I'm not going in and opening accounts first. So you got to prepare to push yourself first and be mentally strong. A lot of us sad to say we were not born with these traits. These traits were not taught to us. Even our parents don't have these traits. And so here at WFG, these are some of the skills that you're going to learn. You might think, okay, you come here just to learn about money, but you're going to get so much more. So be prepared to push yourself first. Be prepared to be mentally strong, right? Be prepared for everything except giving up. And some of the stories that we heard while we were there is, you know, these guys when they're on the battlefield and people and, and tanks are blowing up and people legs are blowing up and people are dropping to their left and right. They just got to keep going. There's no time to cry. There's no time to say, oh my God, uh, you know, like there's no morning season, right? You just got to keep going. And so we got to be prepared for anything and everything except giving up. And I'm going to keep saying that because a lot of us are going to get sidetracked. We're going to get bogged down. People are going to say no. Families are going to get sick. Families are going to die. Things are going to happen. And of course, we're human beings. So we're going to want to feel some type of way, which we should. But at the end of the day, do not stop. Keep going and do not give up. Because think about it. Things happen, people get cancer and their kids still, I mean, their love and still got to go to work, right? Yes, sometimes if we're fortunate enough and we have enough funds, we can take some time off. But why are we not applying that same principle when it comes to running a business, which this business can free you and your generation? So be prepared for everything. It doesn't matter what comes your way, be prepared for it, except giving up. And then you want to also make sure that you're preparing to win. Envision yourself already winning. Right now, we're on a contest. We're on an SEVC run. I am not going to tell Johnny, oh, I don't know. Maybe I might make it. Maybe my team not going to rise to the top. I don't know. We win in this SEVC champion regardless. I don't know how. I don't know where these people are coming from, but we're going to make it. We're going to win. And we already seen ourselves celebrating and drinking champagne next week once the numbers are in the system and updated. We are winning at all costs, right? So put yourself in that winning environment. It doesn't matter what's going on around your circle. Always tell yourself that you're going to make a way and envision yourself winning. Be prepared to learn. Guys, this is so, so crucial. A lot of us come into this business and we know nothing about money or what we do know hasn't worked for us. It hasn't worked for our parents. It hasn't worked for our grandparents because what they did was save money in the bank. What they did is save money with the susu person. What they did is save money in the stock market, right? So put yourself in a position be willing to learn. If you start here with us and it doesn't make sense, just learn, just attend, just show up to the workshop, show up to the training, show up and learn. Because guess what? When you learn in this business, eventually you're going to grow. And by default, you're also going to change. I am a product of what I'm telling you guys, because three years ago, this was not me, right? Be prepared to also expand your vision. I mean, my God, when we went, all of us, I remember Candace said she always wanted to have 50 acres, 50 acres of land. And when she got to that, um, to the venue where we went, she was like, oh my God, that I forget 50 acres. I want 50,000 acres. Even for me, many of you know I'm Guyanese, right? And I have land in Guyana and I'm constantly saying, well, you know, I'm single. I don't have any kids. I don't need to have all this land. Just two, you know, two pieces of property in Guyana is good enough. Why am I settling for just two freaking piece of plot? Two freaking house plot. No, when I got there and I saw this man has what, 6,000 acres and it's just dead land with no houses or people living on it? I got to stretch my vision, right? So many of us, we don't think big enough. 
right? And I'm telling you right now, whatever you are seeing yourself envisioning or whatever you see yourself as your goal, I'm going to challenge each and every one of you right now and tell you it is not big enough. Because again, most of us were ingrained with mediocre information. Go to school, play it safe, get a job, buy a house, and that's it. Retire. Like, are you freaking kidding me? That is not a big vision. Why am I just going to only go to school, get a good job, put my kids through college, buy one or two house, retire nice, and that's it? There has to be more than that. And this is why the 1% runs the world. So we got to expand our vision, guys, right? Thinking bigger is the goal. And be prepared to keep pushing, moving, even if it is slow. Many of us are going to go at our own pace. Some people are going to be beasts like me, but I wasn't a beast in the beginning, right? I, I was willing to learn. I grow and I change. So whatever wherever you are right now keep pushing do not stop some of you are going to move slow some of you are going to move fast go at your own pace but move 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 do not stay still do not unless you're praying right unless you're praying and we're going to stay still but in this business you want to move right and eventually your moving pace is going to increase because you may start off slow, but as you build your momentum, as you build your skill set, as you learn this information, you're going to pick up pace. And guys, at the end of the day, success, love, speed. You got to move fast eventually. So yes, go at your own pace right now. Move slow. Keep moving. But ultimately, if you want to be a beast, you got to move fast. You got to get people to move fast. You got to act with speed. Rich people and billionaires, they ain't got time to be la 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 in it. No, they're moving with speed. You call your doctor, you call your attorney, they're speaking to you for two or three minutes and they out of here, right? So success loves speed. Now let's talk about some don't. Never allow yourself to get comfortable. In fact, I'm going to challenge you guys to get comfortable being uncomfortable. So let me give you an example. Many of us, <clears throat> we're comfortable with our job and we're getting a good paycheck. And I did this in the beginning. I was like, you know, what? I'm not going to, this WFG thing, it's okay, but I got a good, you know, a good job and I got a good paycheck. So I'm just going to like dilly dally with it. Guys, if I, if I was doing these things that I'm telling you guys now, if I was doing this in my first year, I probably would have been way beyond a senior marketing director because I was comfortable and most of us are comfortable and that's why we're not pushing ourselves. But what we learned this past weekend is we got to put ourselves in a situation where we're going to be uncomfortable. And I heard Johnny said this, Johnny said he, he bought a house so expensive because it forces him now to go out and hustle and make more money. I'm on a coaching program with another individual who is a multi, multi, multi millionaire. She created 32 millionaires. And she said the other night in our training that she pulled out $5 million and invested in a building. And now she is broke. She is cash broke. And the reason why she did that, she put herself in an uncomfortable situation. So it forces her now to go hustle and make more money to fill back her bank. So guess what? I started doing that too. I don't want to see a lot of money in my bank account. I don't want to see a lot of money just sitting idling. The minute I get paid, 6000 5000 10000 I'm moving that sucker. And my bank account must look zero or probably $100. So when I see that $100 in my bank account, I'm be like, oh, daddy, you can't get comfortable now. You can't get comfortable. Let's go. We got to make more money. But when you get comfortable and you have this money sitting there, now you start spending because you're like, oh, I got extra. How many of you, if you have extra money in your bank account or wherever it's sitting, you start spending it. You really don't have any need for it, but you're spending it. So guess what? 
put yourself in to be in a position to be uncomfortable and some of these things I started doing, but I didn't know that there's a method to the madness. So hearing this at the camp and hearing this from other coaches who are multimillionaires just liquidating their stuff so that they could see every day they have no money, but really and truly they have assets, they own stuff, but it's just the everyday money that's to their fingertip, they're putting it away so it looks like they have nothing. And I love it, right? That's gonna force you to save more money. That's gonna force you to invest smarter. That's gonna force you to buy and you know do stuff that you normally wouldn't because the money is just watching you, right? Always want more. And yes, not everybody's gonna want more. Some people are comfortable, and this is where it goes back to put yourself in an uncomfortable position. Some people are just comfortable making an extra two, three thousand. But are you really helping yourself? Are you really protecting your future? Do you even have abundance to help somebody else if you're just making enough and a little extra for yourself? No. So you got to want more because when you want more and you go out and you hustle to get more, now you could help random strangers, total strangers. You see a commercial on TV with some people in Africa looking to dig water to feed kids or put kids to school you got extra you could bless them you don't have to know people so this is why we gotta always want more and then don't be negative stay positive i have a zero tolerance if somebody's gonna be negative in my ears you know what i gotta go i got some stuff to do so we gotta get into that space where we're not being a negative nelly I know you guys have all heard it before, but we want to start practicing it and staying positive. Another thing some of us do, especially in this business, we give up before we even start. We give up before we even freaking get the license. We give up before we even start the training. Are you kidding me? Don't ever give up before you start. I remember when I used to interview for jobs, they would, if, if they asked me if I could do something, even if I don't know how to do it, I'm going to say, yeah, I could do it. And I'm going to go figure it out. I'm going to go call somebody who knows how to do it, learn from them and then get the job done. So in this business, especially you're going to talk to people and before they even try, before they even start the process, they're going to be like, you know what? I don't think this is for me. Are you kidding me? This vehicle can change your life and your unborn children's life. What do you mean this is not for you? You haven't even tried. And even if you try, so what if you fail, right? I want you to fail. Hurry and fail fast so you can learn what to do and what not to do, right? So get in the mindset of not giving up before you even start. Don't complain. Be solution oriented. I don't want to hear, oh, we can't do this. I want to hear, let's, let's make, let's find a way. Be solutions oriented and not a complainer. The, the world is filled of complainers. We don't need to have more people complaining, right? Now let's talk about some positive mental statement. We want to have a positive, right? Positive mental mindset, positive mental mindset, positive mentality and start getting yourself into the habit of using statements statements like and i love Delnick. one time Delnick said to me i i think her statement was i can i will i must right so start using these powerful affirmative statement yes we can do it i don't want to hear i don't know maybe my it, this is not going to work why why are we giving the no's and not the yes why are we looking at oh it's not going to work when we should be saying how can we make it work right we can do it let's figure out a way use affirmative positive statement create or have a mental challenge every day. So what could be a mental challenge in this business? Maybe you're not good with making phone calls. Maybe you're not good with talking with people. How many of us have heard people say, oh, I don't know anybody. Well, guess what? Let that be a mental challenge. Go make some friends, learn how to talk to people. But guess what? The best part about this business is that we're going to hold your hand and train you every step of the way. So have a mental challenge for yourself every day. My mental challenge might be, you know what? Some days I get real comfortable because I'm making a lot of money and I may want to slack off. 
No, bitch, you ain't got no slacking off days, okay? Not because you ain't got no kids and you ain't got no husband and you think you got you good. No, we ain't slacking. We're going to drain our bank account and we're going to go and act like we broke, okay? So that's the mental challenge that I got to force myself because some days I may say, you know, I'm not going to do anything today. I'm good. No, you're going to work every day, okay? That's my mental challenge. Be consistent in your business work on your business every day guys most of you have met me through social media through live stream so guess what i know that's my sweet spot and i'm gonna keep doing it and i gotta do it every day so for me part of my you know challenge is to make sure that i'm constantly doing the thing that works when you find something that works do it every day do it consistently so if you're not on social media i'm gonna tell you get on social media because that's where it's at right making calls every day talking to people sometimes you're gonna make calls and not even talk anything about the business but just about life in general and making connections with people of course text messages master the art of invitation many of you are gonna be like well I I don't know who to call. I don't know what to say. We're going to train you on how to master the art of invitation. Guys, as Rich Tolly said, this business is so much more easier than when he started. When he started this business many, many years ago, they had to write paper application. They had to drive and go to people's homes from city and state. They had to mail in the paperwork. Even a freaking AMA right now that we just do click, 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 and it's done. Or doing the policy, click, 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 and we submit it. Everything is at our fingerprint. I mean, fingertip. You could work any part of the world with your laptop. Guys, this is an opportunity second to none, right? So master the art of inviting people because everything is us inviting someone to a business overview, a workshop, a one-on-one -on -one, and it's all on zoom okay it's on zoom we zooming and booming get with the program guys right and then also we want to work in our personal development like i said i wasn't like this three years ago but guess what reading a lot of books if you're not someone that like reading listen to podcasts um youtube right listen to follow different people on youtube and just develop yourself because many of you right now are going to be leaders many of you are going to run a bay shop many of you have the skills it's in you we just need to nurture it and pull it out and you're going to get that the same way someone poured into me and developed me we're gonna do that for you guys if you want it right so special force which was the navy seal that we you know spend the last three days with they even said it to themselves they weren't born this way they had to develop mental discipline they had to learn they had to grow in fact one of the navy seals he was a drug dealer he grew up very poor he was selling drugs in the street and at some point he was just like you know what my life sucks like what am i doing and he went somewhere and he saw a sign sign up to be in the navy and just like that he signed up right so all of them said the same thing none of them were born that way they learn and develop these skills being in the army and being put in uncomfortable situations business fundamentals you're gonna come here and you're not gonna know what the hell to do don't worry just learn, lock arms with your trainer and follow the system because this is a proven system. So what are some things we should be doing every day? Back to basics, the business fundamentals, right? You're doing the basic stuff every day with the highest standards. You're 117, one member, one account every seven days even when you do get your license these are some basic things you want to do 117 if you're doing 117 every week you're making money every week right do your 117 do your tree tree 30 lp 30 get your license in 30 days it is not that difficult i remember when i started we didn't even had 
a trainer. We didn't even had an instructor teaching us this information, how to study to pass. You guys have that opportunity now, right? And then your 553K, because we gotta get that watch. We gotta be blinging that watch. I'm going out this weekend, I'm wearing my WFG ring, I'm wearing my WFG watch, everything WFG got, I want okay <laughs> i want and then of course then you start being a giant where you're building a big ass base shop 10th and 30 every month so guys this is a proven incredible powerful system right this is your time guys this is your time count yourself lucky to even hear about this opportunity because there's a lot of people who don't know people and will never hear about this opportunity. Forget the business. Even if you come in here to learn and get help with your finance, you already set up to win. So count yourself lucky. Those of you who are doing the business, stay the course, align yourself and get going. Even if you might be moving slow, the point is move and start developing this mental toughness because life is going to throw a curveball at you. People are going to get sick. People are going to die. People are going to make you crazy. People are going to upset you. Start working on developing your mental toughness. You're going to need it because clients are going to tell you, I want it today and then next week I don't want it or I changed my mind. You know, don't fluster over these things on to the next person come on new york city alone has nine million people why are we tripping if somebody tell you oh i read something negative i don't want to do this fine move on to the next person mental toughness is what's gonna get you through with this business and with that being said it's your girl odetta king coming to you guys live from new york city i'm super grateful for this opportunity i love 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 wfg uh, listen, my unborn kids, they, I'm signing them up the minute they're 18. My nephew who is 17, the, I mean 16, the minute he's 17 and a half, like three months before he turns 18, he gonna be on exam FX studying his license. That's how serious it is. Because when I die, I want to make sure that they know what to do with this money and they go and bless their kids, 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 and we keep it because it's all about generational wealth. A lot of us were not taught this information and you guys have an opportunity to create your own course to write your own narrative our parents did good but now it's our time to take the baton and do better and with that being said that's my part of the training on mental toughness and yeah if you guys need any help i'm always a text away a phone call away but i'm gonna warn you i'm a beast and coming back from that trip i'm a bigger beast because my mental is on a whole different level so thank you guys so much and i'm gonna turn it back over to angel diaz awesome awesome thank you so much odetta i really appreciate that training that she was able to provide